I think it's uh, it's a great experience for the guys on our team from Canada and come down here. There's such a, a storied tradition of Kansas Jayhawk basketball, so to have opportunity to train here and see the facilities is uh, a nice bonus for us. Plus, uh, you know, it's great for us to have a couple games with them as well and uh, makes both teams better and you know, should be should be entertaining on Tuesday and Friday night. Oh. Question: Anytime you represent your country, it's uh, it's a big honor and. You step out on the court and you hear the anthem. It's uh, it's a great feeling, and uh, I know all the guys on the team have been talking about that. And uh, so we're we're really excited to represent our country and enjoy the bonus of training down here in uh, beautiful Kansas. Yeah, no, they've been they've been working really hard, and we've been doing two a day since we got here. And uh, you know the the Kansas athletic staff have taken great care of us, so it's uh, it's made the experience really enjoyable. Guys are working hard. Good group of guys, pretty talented. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to give the Jayhawks uh, a decent game on on Tuesday night. Well, you know, uh, NCAA basketball is big around the world, not just here in Kansas. So we're watching March Madness, and you know, I've been watching them since Danny Manning was doing his thing back in the day. So uh, you know, we're uh, we're looking forward to the games, but more so probably the same as Kansas. We're just looking forward to getting better and preparing for the World University Games, which is what. Both teams are, are trying to get ready for here. Um, it's for me, it's a great experience. Um, brand new compared to where I'm from, because Rice University we don't really have a true campus. Downtown Toronto is just the city and a bunch of buildings, so we don't have a real campus to walk around in. So, just seeing how Kansas athletic department looks and the whole campus is new to me is a, it's a great honor. Um, for me, you know, the facilities here are great. Uh, looking at just the practice facility, what they have to offer here, and then, you know, even when that was filled with the camps, we could jet down to the Student Life Center, so we were able to get on and, and practice even when the, the practice court wasn't available. Um, you know, and then just the, the therapy and the, and the rehab type stuff they have here um, is, is obviously world class, so to be able to capitalize on that has been big for us. Yeah, obviously. I mean, you know, we're big about supporting Canadians in Canada, and and obviously Canada basketball is on the rise now, so um, Andrew is going to be one of our big pieces moving forward. So, um, you know, our television stations did a great job of covering all the Jayhawk games, and we were able to tune in and, and cheer for him and, you know, support him as he goes to the next level. I think just Canada versus USA, I guess we're going to see where we are. We just got together. Our team's just been together for a couple of days now. We don't really know each other too well, so we're trying to build chemistry. So it's going to be a good stepping stone for us as a group, and hopefully... It's a competitive game. It's a great game for both teams to get better. I guess during the seasons, like in the past seasons, we've paid attention to each other's like stats and abilities over online or I guess word of mouth or social media. So we have known each other by name, but I guess just like playing style, we're just trying to get used to right now. Yeah, we're definitely more familiar playing against each other than with each other. Uh, I mean, Jamal has a couple of his Ryerson teammates on the team, and I have a, a guy I played with at University of Alberta uh, joining me here, so you know there's some familiarity, but um, we're still trying to get used to each other a little bit.